Okay, okay everybody okay? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's only gonna be about two to three minutes here after this, waiting to the fun room. Ah, sorry, the dungeon and torture chamber. But for now, welcome to the back quarters. It's called Hits, Vapen Plants, Vapen and Afrikaans, or that's it for weapon. This is where they did all the weapon inspection. Kindly, that side of the building. The windows and the doors, that is the only section on this entire fort that was painted red. So that used to be the grain cellar. Later, it became the ammunition room because back then the code for ammunition was red. Next, this side of the building. Firstly, the whole top floor. That is where all the soldiers used to sleep. Now, the middle part. The double door with a big hoop. The big hoop had a pulley and the rope. They would tie heavy goods on the floor, pull it up, swing it through the double door, so the whole middle part was their storage space. But the whole lower part maybe is the stables and arts and crafts because you were sugar makers, tobacco makers, gunsmiths, blacksmiths, etc. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've also mentioned it took them 13 years to build this fort, except, ladies and gentlemen, this entire middle wall was only built later, completed 1695. And the reason, in case of any attacks from the mountain next to Table Mountain called Devil's Peak, people who stayed inside the fort could hide behind the front side of the wall. And the mountain right in front, Signal Hill, any attacks from that side, they could hide behind the back side. But, ladies and gentlemen, with all the blood, the sweat, and the tears, even up until today, this fort was never, ever under any attack, not once. But there was a very small battle, 1795. That was the first invasion of the British. But that battle occurred in a place called Maisenberg, as we would say today, Musenberg. Any questions? And the staircase, dungeon and torture chamber. However, ladies and gentlemen, that room was half the size of the ammunition room. So I suggest everybody, have a look on the inside, maybe take some photos when everybody's done, come back out, I'll do information on the outside. You okay with that? Yes. Kindly, follow me. Second room dungeon. For now, you may knock yourself out. Not literally, though, please. <laughs> I'll be waiting on the outside. Okay. Look just like Cape Coast and Elmina. The same wicked mentality of the devil himself. Mm -hmm. Serious. Just always want to torture people and... Oh, this is the way to torture us. Yeah. Torture us, torture us black like African it. people. <laughs> but also, you know... Yeah, they torture their own people to the family. Us has been dramatically damaged and destroyed by, by this issue. But to get a real full energy of the story, you gotta come to Cape Coast and Elmina Holocaust Dungeons with us in Ghana. So you can find out about the wicked mindset of the devil themselves. Because only a devil will put things like this together. The mindset of wicked and evil. And so family, we bring you along with that. Yes, Tony. Yes, Mr. Bomani. Stolen Africans. Stolen Africans enslaved and tortured. Let me get the documentation behind you, brother. If okay. you can move the other way. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
and just line this up. So family, this is the link to Chile to see the, the same things we, we talk about in Cape Coast and Elmina, Ghana. It's the same wicked energy the devil has spread across the entire African continent. So we're showing you it's not just one location. Even when we went to Brazil, we showed you the same struggle. All over. The, you know, same family, the devil never sleeps.